Okay. Just leave it. Uh, how do you do that? Oh. Oh god. You got. Whoa. Me <laughs> I'm giant. It's happened. Oh, well, oh there we go. Hello. <laughs> Hello, welcome back. And um, you can probably hear in the background, what's been played in the background currently is uh, the rest of the guests playing uh, Infinite Beating, which was the game made guess. during the Warp Zone Free Jam in Amsterdam. So it was, yeah. And yeah. Uh, you were the programmer and designer on that game. Yeah, yes I was. Yeah, it was um, it was yeah. 24 hour jam, so we didn't have that much time and we just party and made a game jam and you know made it made a game during a party and it was amazing it was amazing <laughs> yeah i'm glad everyone seemed to enjoy themselves and yeah the oh, game, no. game jams are associated a lot with uh indies Fuck independent you. game developers do you consider yourself an indie i think people would mention that yeah like you are independent and you create games it's like yes but i don't really i kind of want to um, I find it tricky because I don't really associate myself like, oh, I'm an indie because I, I, I kind of see becoming a brand. It's, it's a brand at the moment. Like yesterday, um, there was an article that kind of illustrated what was going on that they uh, like game jams are all like all hip and about and uh, uh, organization and corporate corporates have caught, yeah. caught up on that. It's kind of not, it's, it, it's still cool, but it's kind of not cool anymore. And it means something else, like uh, Electronic Arts released oh, an indie down. bundle. No. Yeah. So yeah, it's become, because it's hot, the corporates have kind of come in a little bit. So it's a little bit tricky. I guess yeah. it's, I guess it's a light, it's a th kind of like a mindset now. And some, even some people who are published could be considered indie, I suppose. Yeah, everybody's mentioning that, oh, I'm indie now. It basically means like you're independent. Basically, you, you don't have to depend on someone else, like with money, like a, pu a publisher or everything. But most companies who, you know, make a living and get money in our, our independence. Yeah, so mil everybody's multi million dollar companies. Yeah, we're in the oh, we're indies. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But yeah, so it's it's not really like oh indie is good, but what is important then for games and game creators? What's a good incentive Ooh. then? If you don't want to label it just what is good? What would you answer? What I consider good. Everybody yeah. has different of course. opinions about but what that. Do you of think course, is important? no one. Has. Well, First and foremost, passion. Like if you're, it's it's important for any art form, any art medium, to be passionate about what it is you create. And I'm I'm convinced that from from that passion, good things will come. Mm -hmm. Maybe not everybody will agree. Like maybe not not everybody will like what you do. But in any case, you'll you know you'll uh, make something different. And What's your passion in games when you create? No. I like to. Um, it's a tricky. Yeah, it's sorry. A, what's my, yeah, what's my what's my passion? Well, you know why why I wanted to go into game design in the first place is the games that I used to play have inspired me in such a way that I wanted to uh, continue. I wanted to, to to give that pass that on to the next generation of gamers because I, the the most powerful experiences I've gained from these beautiful games. I wanted to pass that those experiences on to others and inspire <laughs> others to make beautiful things. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know about most people, but that sounds like a much better incentive than just wanting to make a load of money. Well, yeah, like, it's like, oh yeah, the game industry is <laughs> booming. So let's get in on the money train. <laughs> choo -choo! It's not even just um, like more mature people. Even so sometimes because uh, we both went to college and studied games. You yeah. even have students who kind of go into it for that reason sometimes as well. Yeah. So I guess those people yeah. are just never going to go. <laughs> yeah, I think everybody, you know, has to find their way within. I guess so. Everybody has to decide their own path, you know, and to stay true to yourself. You know, if you know what you want, you can't really go wrong on it because if you're like, oh, yeah, I'm in it for this, but I'm also on that and I want to be considered good or whatever, <laughs> like then then it's a bit in the air and then nobody really knows what you want and what you're about. and. <laughs> We've only got a little bit of time left, but if there's if there's you're on TV, there could be people who are in games or maybe want to go into games. What would you tell them with the spot now that you have? Follow your heart. It's okay to take inspiration from games, and I want to. I, I really want you to um, always try something different. No. Make games that you always wanted to play, and. Uh, yeah, follow your heart. And, you know. <laughs>
stay it, true, is it that be honest, difficult, be, guys? be good person, and, and good <laughs> art will come from that, you know? Exactly, dag nabbit. <laughs> yeah, just to keep it short. How's, All right. how's um, Infinite Beating, guys? It rocks. Ah. <laughs> I think if people go to uh, futurevisionamsterdam.com, they'll have information where they can download it for free, correct? It is for free, yeah. Free. It is, uh, <laughs> free!